Facial stereotyping is an image or idea that you have of someone based off of their race. It is something that happens on a daily basis and should not be taken lightly. Now to the Trayvon Martin case, the newly released video and eyewitness reports about the struggle in the moments before that gunshot rang out. ABC a first look at how that fateful night began for Trayvon Martin, buying Skittles and iced tea at the 7-Eleven, and tonight, police recordings where, for the first time, we hear eyewitnesses describe Zimmerman's behavior in the seconds after the shooting. The guy had his hands in the air saying, the gun's on the ground, I shot this guy in self-defense. To another witness, Zimmerman seemed dazed. Looked like he just got his, his butt whooped. Not shocked, but like, just getting up, just basically getting up from a fight. Zimmerman then spoke to that witness who characterized him as oddly matter of fact. Not like he was um, in shock or anything, not like I can't believe I just shot someone. It was more like, just tell my wife I shot somebody, like, like it was nothing. I'm here with Rudy, senior. My first question for you, Rudy, is have you ever been racially stereotyped? And tell me about it. Uh, yes, I have been. I actually was uh, walking one day, and down the street, a liquor store had been robbed, and they said the suspect was Hispanic. So they stopped me and questioned me about it for a while, when in reality, it wasn't me who had like known anything about it. Right, right. My second question for you is, what are your views on the racial stereotyping? How do you think it could change. I think uh, racial stereotyping sets up a world of ignorance where um, you know we all think one group of people is one way when in reality we're all individuals and we all have so, uh, special circumstances and uh, I think we should change it by for one just getting to know each other. Right. We have this poster here Rudy that says don't stereotype we all tight. Do you agree with this statement? Yeah man I agree with this statement. Next, I ask you to sign it. You got the first signature. All right, I'm here with uh, Mike Harrington, Jr. Mike, uh, have you ever been in a situation where you were racially stereotyped? Uh, yes, I was. When I was younger, I was in a situation where I was fishing with my dad and police stopped us because they thought we were doing something bad. I don't know, just because the way we looked. Okay. Um, and what are your views on racial stereotyping? Uh, I think it's a really bad thing that people do, just um, basing it off of how people look and how they act and their beliefs on stuff. Um, I think it's really bad and we need to change it. Um, yeah, and uh, a lot of people get racial stereotyped, not just like people in minorities. I've seen a lot of people do it, so it's not that good. Don't stereotype. We are all tight. There you go. All right. And now we're going to ask you to please sign this poster. Thank you. Hi, so um, we're going to ask you a few questions about racial stereotyping. Uh, the first one is, have you ever been in a situation where you're racially stereotyped? Yes. Oh my God, yes. I was in high school. I was driving my car. They pulled me over because I had my windows down. My music was blasting. They pulled me over. They checked my car. They said they were doing a typical search. They handcuffed me and they put me in the back of the car. And I had nothing on me. I was a good kid. So that was my first incident. I was 17 years old. Wow, OK. Um, the next question is, how do you think you can prevent it? You know, it's, it's kind of hard. You know, it's hit or miss. You just got to, you know, you guys just be good you know you never know you can't really prevent it so you just got to make sure you're doing the right thing yeah. what are you what are your views on it and what's your definition on it my views of racial um honestly i really don't have any views i'm kind of person where if it, it is what it is it's going to happen you can't change that um so you just got to go day by day and just live your life and just, just be safe
And then we're also going to ask you to sign this poster that we made right here oh, as a petition. So.